important question, very relevant question. That if Quran has so much of information regarding science technology, it's a book of knowledge, book of guidance, then why are we Muslims backward? It's a very good question. The reason is, if we look back into the history, from the 8th to the 10th century, we read in the historical books, the Europeans, they called it as the Dark Ages. Dark for whom? Dark for the Europeans. The Arabs, the, ad the advancement they made in science and technology was phenomenal. If you had to know about science, if you want to do research of science, you had to learn Arabic. Like how today we learn English. At that time, the Muslims were on top of the world because we were close to Quran and Sunnah. Today, the reason the Muslims are backward is because we are far away from Quran and Sunnah. So, Quran is not to blame. You and I are to blame. If you read in the books of history and books of science, I said in my lecture, Ibn Nafis, Ibn Nafis, 600 years after the Quran was revealed, was the first to describe the blood circulation. In a textbook, we know about William Harvey, we don't know about Ibn Nafis. So two reasons. Then number one, Muslims have gone away from Quran Sunnah. Number two, media. You know, media also plays a big role in it. In our textbook, in my school, I never heard about Ibn Nafis. After when I did research, I came to know. In my textbook was mentioned William Harvey. The first person to do the world map of the world was Al Idrusi. In 1154, he was a Muslim. Do you know the numbers that we have 1, 2, 3, 4? What's it called? What's it called 1, 2, 3, 4? What is it called? Say loudly. Arabic numerals. How we have Roman numerals? 1, 2. Arabic numerals, why? Because 0 was first introduced by the Indian. The Arabs took it up, put a decimal point, and we have the Arabic numerals. If you know about al -Aptusi, he was the one who discovered the Pythagoras theorem, which we learn in school. We learn Pythagoras theorem, we don't know the learn name of Aptusi. The square of the hypotenuse is equal in a triangle. The square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the other two sides of the triangle. Do you remember or you forgotten? You remember, no? Mashallah, good student. Who was the person who discovered it? Now you came to know, correct? Better late than never. Aleptusi, Muslim. Trigonometry, we learn trigonometry. Who is the main person of trigonometry? Al Biruni. We learn chemistry. Who is the father of chemistry? We know. Geber, Geber. It's not Geber, it is Jaber. Jaber ibn Ayyan. They want to, you know, change the name, westernize it. Geber. So Geber looks like a westerner. Sounds like a westerner, correct? It is Jaber, Jaber ibn Ayyan. He is the father of chemistry, wrote more than 200 pages, 2000 pages. He was the first who distilled alcohol. Alcohol comes from the Arabic word Algul. Alcohol is Arabic. Algul meaning evil spirit. He distilled it. How many people know about al Kindi? At a time when Newton, who is the biggest scientist in the world history, Newton said all laws are absolute. al Kindi said no, all laws are not absolute, they are relative. Later on Albert Einstein came. All have heard about Einstein. How many of us have heard about al Kindi? The two brothers, Muhammad Ahmad, and Hassan Shakir, they told the area of the earth from an angle at the Red Sea at a time when we didn't even were sure whether the earth was spherical or not. At that time they told the area of the earth which was quite accurate. If you read about Ali ibn Abbas, he wrote 2000 pages on medicine. If you know about Ali ibn Sina, Avicenna. Avicenna sounds like a western name. It's Ali ibn Sina. Aristotle of the East. You can keep on giving examples. Muslims were on top of the world. Because we were close to Quran and Sunnah. Today, we are far away from the Quran and Sunnah. 
that time if you wanted to get advanced in science and technology it was compulsory you learnt arabic arabic was a language on top of the world today where is it who's to blame we are to blame so my request to all the muslim brothers and sisters you go back to the quran study the quran quran is the most positive book in the world it's a proclamation to humanity it's a fountain of mercy and wisdom it's a warning to the heedless it's a guide to the erring it's an assurance to those in doubt it's a solace to the suffering and a hope to those in despair you can get all these benefits only if you read the quran with understanding 